Bellwork 24A, questions 4 and 5. Number 4. Emily drives 5 miles west, then 12 miles south. What is the diagonal distance from her starting point? If necessary, round to the nearest tenths. All right, so I already drew the triangle that you need to draw. So right now, pause your video and draw that triangle. All right. So the right angle points to C. So you are finding the hypotenuse. All right, let's call the shorter length A and the longer length B. So to plug that into our equation, we would have 5 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. That is all the farther I'm helping you on question number four. If you need help, use your notes. There's plenty of examples. Example one in your notes would help. Uh, example two in the notes would help. Use your notes to help you finish that if you need them. Don't forget your final answer. It's a word problem. needs to be in word form. So go ahead, pause your video, get that down. This box right here is where your final answer would go. Um, Okay, that highlighted area is where your, the number will go for your final answer. Okay, number five. A rectangular park measures 366 yards by 488 yards. How long will the diagonal path from one corner of the park to the other corner measure? This is exactly like example seven in the notes. This is like example seven in the notes. So we, I already have the diagonal path drawn, or sorry, the um, the rectangular park on the paper for you and the diagonal path is the dotted line. Now remember it's a rectangle so if it's a rectangle that means that this right here is a right angle. The right angle points to, you guessed it, the hypotenuse. So this will be C. So let's call our shorter length A and the longer length B. Pause your video, get that written down. Okay, so now I'm not even going to help you plug the numbers in for this one. I think I've done that enough for you. So plug in A. Don't forget to use your square. So it's going to be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You're going to finish number five completely on your own. And then don't forget the final answer will be the diagonal path of the park measures. And that box right there is where you're going to put the number and then yards. Okay, so pause your video, get all that written down. If you need any help on any part of Bell Work 24A, please let me know.